I've been getting a request from lots of my students on drawing the Rainbow Friends. So if you're not familiar with that game, it's one of the many games built into the Roblox game. So if you've got Roblox, there's a game called Rainbow Friends, even if you don't have it, now you know. And Rainbow Friends is kind of a spin on that survival horror where you're running around a facility that's supposed to be kid friendly and a lot of the things that are in there are coming to life and chasing you. So hopefully you can complete the task before they get you. Um, also, there's a few jump scares, things that will reach out and grab you if you're not paying attention. So if you're not the kind of person that likes things a little bit spooky, then you probably don't want to get into the Rainbow Friends. Part of the reason why I kind of like it as an art teacher, not just because I like spooky things, but as an art teacher, I like the way that they're using bright, saturated colors, especially for their characters. So we've seen this in some other games like Poppy's Playtime. We've got the bright colors of Huggy Wuggy and uh, even Mommy Long Legs. Okay, so there's there's other characters out there in other games that are using these bright colors for something that's normally a little dark and twisty. So in art, we tend to call that a juxtaposition, where you've got something that should be one way and then you put it next to something else or use it in a way that's not normally used. So in this case, taking bright, colorful things that would normally be associated with being kid friendly and then twisting it so that it's no longer kid friendly and it's actually terrifying and everybody needs to run for their lives. So I'm not here to tell you about the game. I'm here to tell you about the characters. Now with the names, the Rainbow Friends, there's pretty much a character for every color in the rainbow. So if we go through the order, which a lot of people teach the order of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and sometimes those two just get mushed together into purple. All right. So depending on how those are being taught, there's pretty much a character for each of those colors. So I'm going to focus on the main ones that are in the game. I noticed there's a lot more coming out. There's a lot of fan made ones that are coming out. Um, and that's the great thing about, you know, the internet culture that we have now is there's so much access for people to enjoy something that then they start making it their own, creating new characters, new content to go along with it. Uh, there's just so much out there. So let's focus on drawing the Rainbow Friends today. All right, let's get started. Now the most, I guess, popular character, if we were to call him that, um, is is gonna be blue all right out of all the rainbow friends we've got blue he's one of the first ones that you encounter all right so blue's pretty straightforward he looks pretty friendly he's doughy all right so we're we're gonna try and go along with what blue looks like now blue has a nice big round head so i'm gonna start with just a regular pencil for my drawing okay also, remember the phrase of draw light till you get it right. You don't have to immediately do it. And notice this, I'm gonna draw the circle, all right? I draw lightly, I can even draw it a lot of times until I'm happy with it, all right? So I'm drawing that circle around and around and around. This is gonna be Blue's head. Now, if I look at his body, his body's kind of like this big bubbly A shape, all right? So I'm gonna draw a line coming off of each side of the circle. And at the bottom of that, he's got these legs. They kind of remind me of Among Us characters. They remind me of the crewmates, just a little bit longer. And then we've got that gap right there. So like I said, it almost looks like the letter A. All right. Now let's, let's, let's give him some shoulders. So he's got an arm that comes down. It curves off of his head comes down next to his body and he doesn't really have hands he's just got these nubs and his arm comes all the way back up and his armpit stops right there if you want to do the most common image of him like there's a picture of him standing on stage with a cutout he's waving so that arm comes up and it's just a rounded knob and it comes back down and then we've got this line. Now notice I pressed down a little bit harder so that's line, that line gets darker because I know that's where I want it. So down comes his 
the body. I'm going to finish out his legs. And everywhere that I'm happy with the shape of the, the body, I'm going to press down harder. Now, I haven't finished his head yet. Now, off to one side, we've got a crown. All right. So a little bit of a curvy, almost straight line at the bottom. Two lines that come up. And we're gonna make kind of the letter W. And just on the edges of that letter W, you're gonna make these bubbles that come down. And that's gonna be the back side of his crown. We're starting to make that same shape around the back of his head. Now, he's got two eyes. They're really big. They take up most of his face. All right. And he's got a real big smile. Now this is that juxtaposition I was talking about earlier. Okay. Normally when we think about things that are happy, that have a big smile, they're not usually trying to chase you and hurt you. So that's one of the things about this game. If you don't like scary things, okay, don't, don't play Rainbow Friends on Roblox. Right. Now here's where it gets different. I could draw in the eyes. For blue and this is how blue is supposed to look maybe even give him his tongue I'm also going to go ahead and darken in the shape of his head because that's kind of the circular shape I want it to be this is how blue would normally look but the version that's in the game that actually chases you does not have eyes like this one of his eyes is actually a big sewed on button. So that means that he's got a line that goes across and it's got kind of these like little rounded edges and then a line that goes under it. And this is the part that's sewed on. And then the other eye is just colored in. Now here's another difference. The one that actually chases you around does not have his tongue hanging out like this. Instead of a tongue, he's actually got drool hanging out of his mouth. So it comes down, it drips down, and it comes back up. That's it. Now you've got the version of blue that chases you around. Like I said, I drew lightly for the other parts. I'm going to go back. I'm going to press down a little bit harder for those now. Just so that they're a little more clear. And anything that you don't want, like I can see some extra lines in here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase those. All right. So this is what I talk about when I talk about draw light till you get it right. You don't have to press down super hard. And I also want you to notice, I didn't start my drawing with just drawing the head and then drawing the shoulders and drawing the next shoulder and working my way around the outline. I actually built the shapes of the character. First, I started with the circle and then I did the shape of his whole body, that kind of A shape that I talked about seeing. Then I did the shape of the arms and then I added the details. So all of these things, when you put them together, taking those shapes, they create the character. Sometimes if you were to try and draw this and you wouldn't be super happy with it because it doesn't look quite right, that's usually because we're trying to draw just the outline. But if we focus on the shapes that make up the character and then we can help build a form out of it, then that form will look more believable. It'll look more like what you want it to. All right, there's blue. So let's move on to the next one that you usually encounter. Our next one that we're gonna look at is green. Green is one of those that I like this character uh, just because um, I really like the wacky wavy arm and playful two man guys that you'll see riding down the road sometimes. All right, so this character allows for some really fun poses because of how long his arms are. And with the way his mouth opens and his like long wacky tongue that he has, that, that actually can be fun to draw and fun to do things with. So in the case of Rainbow Friends, um, 
you know, the, the one of the big things that stands out with Green is how tall he is. Like his, he's got a long bendy body. And I'm gonna draw kind of behind my, my character here, but you don't have to do that. And like I said, he's like the tube man. So that's what it reminds me of, is it reminds me of the, the character that you'll see out on the road where he's got this long tube body. So the, the line should be about the same width apart the whole way, all right? But then if you notice his legs, his legs are kind of this like stumpy U shape. He's got a wide base to him, maybe to keep him from falling over with that, that wacky wavy arm body that he has. But notice that his legs and his this lower part of him is just about as wide as the rest of him. it's all almost that same tube material that he's made out of. So then he's got his big long arms. You can really just make them go whatever direction you want. All right, I'm gonna make them come back this way. Now notice this. I didn't make that line come up and then turn around. Notice I stopped drawing and then I drew a new line for the new direction I wanted his hands to go. Now I'm gonna connect the two. This overlapping is part of what shows me that that arm is still connected, but this is starting to come in front a little bit. And then if we look at his hands, he's got three fingers. These are just smaller tubes that are coming off of his hand. Now this part might be a little bit trickier, but there you go. Like there's his first hand and we could even draw another one. Now watch this. I'm going to actually draw over top of blue so that I can see where my arms are going and so that I can make them roughly the same width and put them where I'm wanting them to go. Because if I draw lightly, I can always go back and erase it. So now we've got two big arms for green. We've got his legs, you know, his legs could actually be taller. So here's one of the things, one of the great things about what we've been practicing, draw light till you get it right. I'm gonna go fix mine. If you're happy with yours, don't copy me right now. Don't go back and erase your stuff. If you're happy with what you've drawn, do not copy Mr. Dotson right now, all right? I just wanted to make his legs a little bit taller because I feel like I made them too short, you know? So I'm gonna go back and fix that. All right, I'm a little more happy with that. Now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna add his face. His face is actually really open. So if he's got this part right here, it comes back and it comes forward again. Same thing here, it comes back, it comes forward again. And here's where all of his teeth are. So he's got these spiky teeth. And around the bottom of his mouth, that's what I just drew there, the bottom of his mouth. I'm gonna add some more spikes. And I'm actually going to erase those little parts where I drew his body earlier. Those are gone now. I'm gonna give him a big wacky tongue coming out like that. Erase the parts I don't need. And then his eyes are almost at the very top of his head. And they're almost like googly eyes. So if you really wanted to have fun with it, you could have them like point different directions. That works too. So again, his eyes are colored in. He's got black pupils. You can also use markers for your coloring, crayons, whatever you've got. Right now, I'm not gonna color mine. I'm gonna do that at the end. But I am gonna black out the areas that I feel like they need to stay black. Like that's gonna be the darkest area. 
I didn't do that earlier over here for blue. So I'm gonna do that. I also forgot to color the stitches on his eye. And then I've got those lines that went through blue. I don't need those anymore. I used them to help show where my arms were going to go for green. I don't need them anymore. Now, one thing is I'm starting to draw on a lot of stuff here. And I don't wanna keep wiping my hand across it because then I'm gonna get my paper dirty. So if you've got a paper towel or a regular rag, you can use one of those to help clean off your drawing instead of constantly wiping your hand across it and getting your paper dirty because of what's on your hands, all right? Sometimes though, even a rag will drag your uh, stuff through your paper. So just be careful with it. Don't press down very hard. One of the best things that you can get is if you've got a, a soft bristly brush. Ooh, you got one of these. That'll help get stuff off of your paper too. All right, but that's if you're feeling fancy. All right, let's go on to our next rainbow friend. All right, now our next rainbow friend is going to be orange. Now orange is a little bit smaller than the other two rainbow friends we've done so far. Orange is gonna be smaller than blue and green. So I'm gonna put him kind of in front of all the others. For those of you that haven't played the game, orange is this kind of crocodile looking character that runs around and he has to be fed all right obviously with that many teeth he looks a little hungry but I want you to notice when I talked about the shapes earlier I talked about the shape of blue had a round head the shape of green he had this long tube like body where the lines were like equal distances apart all right orange has got this like triangle head with two balls on it and a long skinny body. I mean, this, this guy looks almost like the Cheetos that I eat, okay? So I'm gonna start with a couple of things. I'm actually gonna show you how to help plan out your drawing because I need to figure out where he's gonna go here. Planning out your drawing is something important to do. Now, for us, if I look at this and I look at orange, orange has that triangle head but notice I'm not pressing down very hard. So I draw a triangle and then there's gonna be his eyes. I'm not gonna draw those very hard either. All right, so these are super light. So he's got a triangle head. He's got a bump on his, the end of his nose. His mouth hangs down. It is also a triangle shape. So we're sketching out and planning our drawing. I'm not drawing the outline of him and doing every detail right now. We're just planning. And he's got this long Cheeto body, okay? He's got a long neck and his shoulders are about right there. And then he's got a body that curves down and his tail that curves back up, all right? Then he's got his little hips down here with a leg that comes out to one side and a leg that comes out to the other side. Now it's hard to see, he's kind of a stick figure. So if it's if you feel like you're, you're losing me right now and you can't see all the details, that's okay. I'm gonna start pressing down harder and you can copy along there. But he's got arms with three fingers and he's got another arm with another hand. So this is the part probably most of you want to follow along with because that might be tricky, especially with me drawing on top of other characters. Well, let's clean it up a little bit. So he's got that bump on the end of his nose that comes back up. And then he's got his, the round parts of his eye. But that's the thing is underneath each of his eyes, he's got these like pieces of, I guess what we'd say, skin or maybe even foam, since he's like a, a foam creature, that kind of hold his eyeballs in place. All right. He's got his eyeball that looks at you. It's kind of a long pointy oval, but guess what? That other eye is not gonna look at us right now because in the game, they look two different directions. 
Then there's the back of his head. And his teeth. Oh, his teeth. He's got so many teeth. But again, if you look at the shapes, and I'm even going to turn his, the corner of his mouth up a little bit so it looks like a smile. But if you look at the teeth, there are all these little triangles. Now, in the game, he's got a lot more teeth than that. I'm going to come down, and then I'm going to draw more teeth. But notice this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line that goes behind those teeth. This is going to be the back side of his mouth. So here we're learning a little bit about making our characters and shapes look 3D. I'm going to add some more teeth on that other side. Now, if you didn't want to do that, if you didn't want to make your character 3D, that's fine. But now we're going to add the bottom part of his jaw, which is much skinnier than the top part. That connects to his neck which comes down to his body. He has arms off to each side. Now at the end of his arms, he's got these hands that have little claws. And his arms are actually a little bit bulky. You know, for as skinny as he is, they're a little bit bulky. His body comes down. He's got a leg off to one side. And then we've got his toes. All right. And they curl down. Because he's got claws. And that comes up. That last one comes all the way across to be the top of his foot. And then off of that, we're going to make his knee. And that's going to come back to his body. Same thing over here. We're going to do a leg, make his knee, make the under part of his leg. And we're going to do those toes again. Curl down and back. Down and back. Then that last one goes all the way across the top and back. I'm going to make his other arm now. And this time I'm going to do a little bit of foreshortening, meaning I'm going to make it look like his hand is more in front of his body. And I'm just going to do that by making these little lines for his arm, kind of end right here. And it looks like the rest of his arm is kind of going straight back and forth towards us. Okay. Then we're going to make his little Cheeto body. Because he is, like I said, he's, he's like one of the super skinny characters. And there he is. Now, if you wanted to draw his other eye, you could, but I'm not going to, because like I said, in the game, his eyes point two different directions. And I think that's just part of what makes him a funny looking character. Now that I've got a lot of my characters done, I'm gonna go back and finish out Green's lines a little bit more. Maybe you already did that, that's fine. But this is part of it. When you're planning a drawing where you've got a lot of characters on there, Maybe you don't always draw them as dark because there may be parts that you're going to end up erasing later on. Now, I don't think any of the characters are going to be as, quite as tall as green right now, which is why I'm comfortable doing this. Going back and making his lines a little bit darker. But I am going to erase everything that I don't need around orange. Lines that I drew inside him, lines where I can see green coming through him. So this is just part of the drawing process. Like everything's not gonna be perfect the very first time. And that's part of the importance of planning. So you can go through and say, ooh, like maybe this character's arm needs to do this, or this makes him too far out of the way. 
Or maybe I need to put this character behind another character instead of in front of them. So these are all things that can help you plan your drawing. Now I know I didn't start with any of that with Blue. He was my very first thing. But I also knew he was going to stand out front. He was going to be more important than the others. But as I started to see other things about the other characters, I started to finish those out. And that's what we do. This is part of the drawing process. As you work through these things, you are problem solving. You're using that big brain of yours to figure out a way to fix things and make things just the way you want them. All right. So we've got blue, green, orange. I'm going to stop this video here. We'll come back to the rest of the characters another day. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to color it. Maybe you want to use coloring pencils. Maybe you want to use crayons. Okay. I don't know which of those you're going to use, color pencils or crayons. Maybe you want to use markers. All of those are fine ideas. Okay. But all right. So once you've colored it, we'll have to now, color it. I didn't go through the steps, but I will tell you, I used crayons. That's why you can see this kind of like texture on there because my crayons show the texture of the paper. So I used a blue crayon, a yellow crayon, a green one, a red one, and an orange one. All right, those are the crayons I used. These are not any fancy, super expensive crayons. These are like Crayola brand. Uh, not that I'm getting paid or anything by that to use their brand name, but those are just the ones I had. So they're regular crayons, not anything super fancy or expensive, like um, a lot of artists that I see that are using like Copic markers, and those are great tools. It's great to have amazing tools, but sometimes you just have to use what you have. So even with crayons, you can still create some shading just by pressing down more lightly in some areas and then pressing down harder to make a darker color for your shadows. All right, so that's how I did this. One thing I'm also going to do is I'm gonna take my pen here. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna outline my characters. All right, and there are our first three rainbow friends. Now I will make another video, uh, hopefully, since it seems like this seems to be something that people want to learn to draw. And also, I think it's a great lesson in how to use colors, how to create shading for characters, and also how to recognize the shapes that make up characters. Like, that's a really great thing to look at what shapes are making up these characters and then coloring them, and then also coloring them in a way to make them look slightly more 3D or three-dimensional, where you shade them so that you can see where things wrap around and even where the light is coming from. All right. Now, like I said, we're going to come back to this. Hopefully you had fun. Remember, if you know how to make the shapes of a creature, you can put them in pretty much any pose you want them in because all that is is just a matter of changing where the shapes go and what direction they are. All right, so thank you for sticking around. I hope you had fun today. These guys are definitely glad you came, and I'll see you in the next video.